when did you learn about cost shag? And then we'll get into the numbers because you know, you've been a great client and we want to showcase that for other folks that are getting into the business or haven't really utilized cost segregation. And believe it or not, there's a ton of people that are not maximizing cost segregation as a tool. And I know you guys are working through our engineering group here at CORE. So we appreciate that. How has that impacted you? Maybe if you don't mind, we can get into the numbers. I just took a glance at you know one of them. It's just so powerful. about cost segregation it was kind of like a 20 or 30,000 foot view of cost segregation at the seminar that my partner Kevin and I met at and uh, there was a, an accountant there and he was talking about the strategies and stuff like that it really piqued my interest because I'm a solid American I'm a veteran I don't mind paying Uncle Sam my fair share of tax but I don't want to pay him a penny more I just don't right. so when I heard about this this strategy I just thought wow this is amazing and it's really quite a great marketing tool we had one project it didn't go through because of a timing issue but we had a guy high net worth individual that came in, all he wanted was just an appreciation from the cost segregation. He didn't want any prep on his money. He didn't want any, you know, anything else. He just wanted that because it sold a business or something along those lines. He just needed to offset that income from a tax standpoint. Yeah. So we learned about that. And as you said, we met up at Jamie's event downtown Detroit a couple of years ago, pre-COVID. We kind of got to talking in that and just reached out to you and we started sending properties your way. And then your team started doing what they do. Yeah. So just again, on the one property that you paid a little over $2 million for, first year depreciation was 559000 That's just so powerful when you think about that. And that has a 20 year carry forward. So that's going to mitigate not only Daryl's taxes as the operator, but also some of the other people that are in on the GP and on the limited partner on the passive side, because you can take those losses and use it against income off of the property on your K-1s. And it is a beautiful tax strategy for, for so many. You're right. And we're saying that a lot of people don't know about it. I was just recently at another event in Brighton and you were there as well. And I met with a the guy there and this guy is a pretty experienced apartment investor. Oh, yeah, you know, yeah. I'm, I'm not going to go over any names, but right. I mean, he's a pretty experienced it. guy. And he was talking to me about just kind of the stuff we had going on. And that's when Diana came in and I said, you know, do you use Terry? And, and core advisors. And he's like, oh, my accountant does our cost segregation. I said, your accountant can't do your cost segregation. You know, they're not able to do that. So people don't really understand what it is. So but when I started explaining to him some of the benefits of it, he was like, man, he said, I got to get a hold of you guys. Whether he did or not, I don't know, but hopefully he did. So yeah, he did. And we're in contact. And that's a great point that you just made because he literally thought, you know, his CPA was taking some basic write off some of the low hanging fruit, but was not applying cost segregation. And we see that quite often. Um, number one, there's no audit defense around that. If you're just kind of willy nilly and you know, your assets and you're just kind of taking a guess, if you ever get audited, it's going to be disallowed by having a professionally done cost seg study for whatever the cost is, you're going to make up in dividends by, you know, maybe tenfold 10 X on your ultimate tax savings and you're going to be able to do it right. For those of the folks that are listening, you know, cost segregation is just another way to write your building off in the tax code where you can write it off over one to five years, as opposed to waiting 27 and a half years. So you create that time value of money. And we know that a dollar today is worth a lot more than a dollar down the road. So for those of you that are, you own a building, you are about to buy a building, you're going to renovate a building, and you want to maximize all of the real estate tax advantages, um, reach out to us. We'd be happy to provide a no-cost benefit analysis. And that's exactly how we met Daryl. We were at an event. Him and I started chatting. He was telling me what he was doing. At that point, you're really getting rolling at that point. So we immediately, yeah. I said, Daryl, we want to become part of your financial team. You know, you've got your attorney, you got your CPA, you got your banker, you got your property management person or company. And having a cost segregation firm in place prior to doing your acquisition is critical because we can help you pre-plan and it helps your cash on cash return for your investors. And we'd be happy to do a free analysis for anybody 